Uh, Orphir, great um, run. Uh, sorry, it's Chris here from STV. I'm up in a pub in uh, in uh, Manchester. Um, it's one of the things you've been on this great run, uh, some fantastic results and performances, but the cliche is you can't afford to let it slip in, in this last game before the split and potentially allow Aberdeen uh, uh, a, a shot closer to you. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's been a long season and we had uh, overall a good, uh, we showed the good performances and good mentality, especially when we had some dips in our form, we managed to get up again and um, we kept uh, a good level of uh, performances. And this is another one, this is a big one. Uh, we know that, we don't try to hide from it. We, that's the message that we got from the staff as well, that it's a big game. Uh, and we should come to this game uh, and try to get three points because it's very, very important to our uh, targets this year. One other uh, aspect I'm sure that's been entertaining you through the week is your strike colleague, uh, Kevin Nisbet. Um, you presumably know which way you'll strike a penalty, left or right, down the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, he likes to go near post or far post. So when, when you face him, if you face him uh, in the internationals, uh, you've got a big advantage, surely. Yeah, I'm not sure that he knows yet, but uh, um, yeah, it's, I'm very, very happy for him. Uh, I think he, he really deserved it. He also had some ups and downs this year, but he showed that he's a really, really good striker and the future is just uh, uh, in front of him uh, and it's up to him. Basically, he got the chance, so it means that he's one of the best in the country. Uh, and I'm sure that he's, uh, he's going to do well for his uh, national team and also for his career in the future. He's really a good player and a good man and good teammate and I'm really happy for him. What have, the, what have you and the, the other players been saying to him in the, in the dressing room and on the training ground this week? Well, basically, we were really, really surprised and really happy for him because we knew that um, obviously Scotland had uh, a good squad, but uh, it's been really important for him and also for the club to and to have Kevin in the squad because uh, it's really important and uh, I think as a teammate someone that sees him every day I think that he's really good striker and he and he's really deserved it. Fantastic thank you very best of luck this thank weekend. You. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for the internationals. Cheers thank you. Hi Ophia. Um, Hi has been speaking in the last couple of weeks just sort of about your, your contract situation and things like that. Um, where do you uh, see you stand with saying that perhaps you haven't come to an agreement yet for a new deal? So, uh, as the gaffer said in his previous interview, so uh, it's it's not an easy decision for me. And I've been had lots of thoughts about that because, you know, this club is it's like a home, for, a second home for me, you know. I'm here five years. I never expected to be here for five years. Uh, but as you know, football career is a short career and you want to maximize your opportunities. And I think in that stage of my career, I would like to to try that. Um, it's it's really tough decision for me. It's a tough call. But it's a, something that I have to do for myself, for my family. And it was really very important for me to, to be honest with uh, the manager and with the club uh, as early as possible uh, for the club to get ready and prepare for, for the next season where I won't be here and, and to give the, the club the best opportunity to find uh, uh, their solutions. So again, it's, it's a tough one, it's a really sad one, but this is something that I've been thinking about that for so long and this is the decision that we, we took. But, um, but how's your impression of Hibs changed since she arrived five years ago? Um, it's, it's been a, a really busy period for Hibs but a, a really good one in your spell. Oh, it's amazing, like I've been I've been through lots of experiences here since I came. Um, we were in the championship, uh, obviously I just came when we won the Scottish Cup so it was a big buzz for the, for the fans. Uh, and I really enjoyed it from since day one. I was like so impressed about the, the fans. I was so impressed about the size of the club, the, the culture and everything. And I think that we, we, we saw when we show uh, the progress of the, of the club 
in the, those years because obviously, as I said, uh, within championship we managed to to promote um, and get up to the top flight and obviously we had some good achievements in the top division. We broke the, the points records. Hopefully we do it again this year. We get to Europe again. So I had really good um, experiences and good time here in Hips. And I'm happy that I, ha I helped the club to, to get to those uh, achievements. Has any of your teammates been giving you any slack or stuff? Because they know um, by the time it hits me, um, you're going to be out the door. Uh, it's too early to be fair. I don't think we'd be discussing too much because we still have lots of things to play this year. So, but surely towards the end, I will get some. I'm, ass I'm assuming as well, all the Scotland Israel matches probably put you off it because when you thought you'd maybe get a chance to go home, you were kept here to play at Hamden in the international breaks. Yeah, uh, Hamden is like my second home this year. I played there <laughs> most of the games. But uh, yeah, obviously, it's as I said, like to be in the national team, it's always a, a privilege, always a good experience. And um, I'm looking forward to go back to Israel for a few days to, uh, to get some sun and uh, see the friends and everyone. And also, to, the most important is to play and play well for, for my national team. Thank you. Quick one from me, off you again. Um, obviously, you, you're not going to get the send-off with the fans that you would have loved to have had. Um, they won't be in the stadiums for your final games in Hibernian uh, jersey. But if you could leave them with a third place in the league and maybe even a Scottish Cup final to look forward to, and maybe there's a tiny chance the fans could come in by the end of May, that would be the, the perfect season for you. It would be amazing. See, like in most of my interviews since I came to this club, I always mention the fans because I think it's the biggest part of this club, you know. Um, the fans can attract good players, the fans can are example of a good of, of a big club and I think Hips fans are amazing and they've been good to me since since I came here. Um, so I hope, I really hope that we we get to the final and we manage to get at least some of them with us in the stadium. Because for me it will be it will be amazing, and I will try my best to 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 get this privilege and play in front of our friends one time one more time again. Fantastic! Very best of luck. Thank you. Thank you.